Hello everyone. We're back for another uh, quick little tutorial or something like that. You know, kind of doing a little series of these for new players and you know maybe returning players too. Easy to forget certain uh, things in the game. Believe me, I've had it happen to me too. Anyways, in this video we're going to talk about how you find your items in your inventory. Furniture items for your house or whatever you want and res those and place them around wherever you want. Now I did a previous video that showed you how to find the item in your inventory that you bought, how to res the item and then recover the item out of your inventory and actually equip the item. But that was kind of more based on clothing. But now Let's take a look at furniture related pieces here. I've got some wine racks right here in my inventory. So same as before, click the arrow next to the yellow folder, menu pops up and your little kind of yellow cubes in here, squares, are your items. And of course you have to be on land that allows you to build We've talked about that before. Click land, click on options, make sure the build button has a check mark in it. Because if you go to res your item on that land and it's not set to build, you're going to have your item disappear in virtual space and it could take forever to be returned. I've actually lost items before, before I knew to check for that. So. Don't make that mistake I did. It can cost you a lot of money. Anyways, as we discussed before, in this case, you're going to drag your furniture items. You're going to left click on the little yellow cube and drag that down to the floor. As soon as you see the little rectangular box with the plus, then you can release your mouse button and your item should res. Waiting for it to res. Oh, it did res. Never mind. These are wine glasses. Pardon me. So I didn't want wine glasses out, so I'm going to delete those. And also make sure if you go to click delete and it says that it's a non-copyable item, then don't delete it. You want to take that back into your inventory, and we'll cover that uh, here at some point. Anyway, okay. Let's go to the uh, wine rack. Okay. Wine rack is clicked and highlighted. Going to left click or hold my left mouse button and drag this out. See, boom, there's a wine rack. Okay, now, this is where you learn to position your furniture, where you want it, how you want it, angle that you want it, but it all starts, you gotta click on it, click on edit, and of course, you see all these arrows. Arrows are self-explanatory. You know, red will move your item back and forth. Green, back and forth. And blue, up and down. Which is helpful. Sometimes you have uneven land or some of the floors where you res items. The item will, like, res lower in the floor. So you want to be able to position that however you do it. Now, on the menu, it's open up here. You can see we're on the move function. Um, if you want to rotate to get a different angle, click rotate. And of course, you once again, you see all the little color codes here, you know. The blue is going to give you different angles there, etc. You know, and the red, blah, 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 just like that. These numbers up here tell you what axis you're on. The numbers, basically the degrees that you're on. Now, if you want to do the numbers yourself for the axis then you want to click on object and you see the XYZ the colored axis here okay like for example you can manually enter this X I want zero okay zero 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 see now the items perfectly upright uh, let's go to the blue let's say I want the item placed at you know most times it's a uh, going to be sets of like 45 degrees, 90 degrees. Let's say I want this at 90 degrees. Okay. See? 
automatically moves for you. You can do it that way. Sometimes easier because, you know, the fact is when you're doing this sometimes and like you have that, you know, you want to be a perfectionist, you know, you, you keep trying to move it and you, you, you always go like, one or two degrees over the spot where you need to be. So when you come down to this area, that right there helps you get it perfect, okay? So very simple tips. And of course, if you don't want the item out, just uh, click on the item. I click more, I use uh, Firestorm for my viewer, but you kind of similar on uh, the regular uh, viewer for Second Life too, so bring up similar options you know they all work the same way but I just click delete so let me find something here really quick uh, same applies to like if you're putting lights on something you know you just position you just use your arrow keys you know those colored arrow keys place it up move everything around it's it's really easy to do once you get used to it but it can be pretty uh, time-consuming here okay I've got a potted plant here I'm gonna do the same left click hold and drag this is a uh, item that's not a copyable item so I want to show you what happens when I try to delete it this way you see it there's the item sometimes they res too far up in the air or above uh, your ground floor you just slide them down until you see them touch the ground and then bam you're done okay now if I were to go to try and delete this, see that message? When it says it's not copyable, do not delete it or you will lose it permanently, okay? So what you want to do is cancel that, you know, reselect your item, and then you want to find the take function on the menu. Take. When you click take, you're going to put it back in your inventory under the appropriate yellow folder okay so that's all there is to it to uh, resin items you know that goes for everything you're resin any type of furniture plants landscaping stuff you just adjust it and place it how you want okay hope that helped you all have a great day